with Coca Cola, the drink of togetherness. Hello and welcome to the Papara.com. You're on the breakdown, and we're looking at the second week of the resumption of the Singer Schools Rugby League 2019. We know you had a long break, but now we've finally begun games again. We began uh, with the uh, Bradby, of course, and that was a massively big game for both teams involved, and it turned out to be an entertaining game of rugby as well. And so was everything this weekend. Some outstanding games of rugby, some big wins as well for some favourite teams, and we are beginning to sift the wheat from the chaff as we go along in uh, this 2019. 19 season. First game we had was St. Thomas's taking on the unbeaten St. Joseph's team and they travelled to Mount Lavinia and won for the third time St. Thomas's losing at home 22 points to 10 St. Joseph's winning that game and then in what could be described as an upset Wesley College taking uh, the match home 29 points to 18 against Isipathana and then we had St. Peter's taking on Trinity. St. Peter's have been at the receiving end of this fixture for quite a long time in their history but turned the tables convincingly this time 32 points to seven against the Candians and then Royal College running out on top of that big win uh, last week against Trinity. They ran out winners 41 points to 20 against Science College. <laughs> quick look at the key games of this weekend. We're looking at two games in particular. We had St. Thomas's hosting St. Joseph's at Mount Lavinia and it's a difficult place to travel to for any team. It might be an unbeaten team but it's still a difficult place to go to because that wind is swirling, the turf wicket is one of those things that you have to uh, get a measure of when you're running with the ball and also kicking the ball and early on in the game we had Santosh Algama, the Josephian uh, fly half, making a few mistakes and giving the opportunity for St. Thomas's to attack in the 22 and they used that opportunity early on in the Managed to score the first try, the Thomians, and after that they managed to uh, try and uh, get that game going the way they wanted to. But unfortunately for them, I think it went to their head, and they tried to attack St. Joseph's out wide. And as a result of that, St. Joseph's then began to capitalise, and it showed that the Josephians had not uh, played a lot of rugby for two months. They were out, and they missed their game last week against Wesley as well. So they were away for a long time. So it took about 20-25 minutes for St. Joseph's to get into that game. But once they got into that. Game, Game, then things were very much easier for them and it was the brilliance of Russia and Gunavardhana and of course uh, Ime Sisanayaka who scored the other try off Russia and Gunavardhana's assist and also starting the Maduranga who was outstanding in uh, the wider channels beating people almost at will in uh, the um, in the wider channels and that was really something uh, that uh, was a sight to behold him uh, taking on defenders and beating them very very easily. So St. Joseph's keeping on their unbeaten tag six games played six games won and it looks like they're going to be fair favourites for the league title unless someone like uh, Royal or St. Peter's can maybe stop them. So uh, their juggernaut continues, the Saints as they say keep marching on. <laughs> Then we had Isipathana taking on Wesley College and that was going to be an interesting game because Wesley have been a team that have been flattering to deceive in the first round. They haven't really done much to their potential. They've got two very good players in their back line in Walpita and Zubair and these two guys combined well and with uh, Manilka Ruberu entrusted with the same uh, responsibilities for Isipathana and Manura Ratnayaka not being able to uh, uh, take part in that game to his full extent, uh, we, uh, we found that uh, Wesley were runaway winners in that game. 29 points to 18 is how it finished. Kavindana Pereira putting the finishing touches on some sublime backline moves uh, from this Wesley team and when they click they look really good and Wesley maybe they have started clicking. That's something that we have to take into consideration in uh, this second round of matches. Let's see where they're going to go with this newfound form. The break certainly has been uh, really helpful for the Wesley College team. Let's see whether they can cause a few uh, banana skin games for some of the favourite teams. Let's look at the numbers now, courtesy of stats.thepapara.com. All the numbers you want from this 2019 league, and of course the league's gone before, you can check out at stats.thepapara.com, your one-stop shop for all your statistics on Sri Lanka's number one sports platform. Uh, we have the Cup Championship table here before you, and St. Peter's, seven games played, six games won, and they've got a total of 35 points. We've got Royal sharing that uh, position on 35 points as well, and uh, they have played a game more than their challenges 
St. Joseph's who are unbeaten but still have a game in hand. So they have 34 points. So when St. Joseph's play that game, that's going to be when we can make a real comparison. In the middle of the table, we have Isipatana and St. Thomas's who will be battling it out and uh, look for this uh, game to be a very interesting one between these two teams uh, because Isipatana and St. Thomas's have the same kind of flaws except different in, in the terms that uh, Malinka Rubero is leading a, a good back line uh, for Isipatana. He's lacking the kind of forwards that he would need but uh, St. Thomas's have a good set of forwards and are lacking some personnel in the back line. So as a result, they're really not complete teams and it'll be interesting to see which one finishes first in uh, the league uh, season because St. Thomas's in terms of physicality seem to be uh, doing well, but Isipathana suffering a few injuries, not the same physical side that they were last year. Let's look at the individual numbers now. Kavindana Pereira with seven tries with his four-try burst against uh, Isipathana. He takes the lead from Gisha Pakulatunga, who couldn't get on the scoreboard against uh, Royal. He'll be ruining that and hoping to fix that when the second leg of the Bradby comes around. And of course, Manilka Rubero, who slotted over that last-minute under-pressure penalty against St. Thomas's to give his team a draw, a surprise draw, in fact, because Isipathana would have been favourites going into that game as well. So he's got 61 points. He scored a couple of tries, nine conversions versions and 11 penalties and a breath of fresh air in the uh, goal kicking statistics this uh, season as most of the other goal kickers have really not uh, been up to some up to standard. <laughs> Upcoming fixtures for you in the Singer Schools League second round 2019. On the 14th of June, we have the game left over from the first week of the second round. That's Wesley taking on St. Joseph's and look for this game to be a really good one. Uh, both teams train at Longdon Place, so they're well used to the ground. But Wesley are in top form. They played really well against uh, Isipathana. And looking at St. Joseph's, they're still struggling a little bit. They managed to beat St. Thomas's because of the individual brilliance of a couple of players. So if Wesley can get their act together. If they can stop that third row of uh, St. Joseph's, then we might be looking at an upset here. It's a mouth-watering game and I'm really looking forward to that one. St. Peter's College take on Isipathana and with that marauding set of forwards that the Petrites have and given the injuries that Isipathana are facing, I'm putting uh, St. Peter's as firm favourites in that game. Uh, also at home for the Petrites, that's on the 15th of June and of course the second leg of the Bradby kicks off uh, at the Royal College Sports Complex also on the 15th and Trinity will be travelling down for for uh, the second time in as many weeks and that's going to be a bit of a difficult uh, challenge for them. 34 points to 17, a 17 point gap is always going to be difficult to make up uh, for them. So unless we see some um, uh, 75 year uh, comeback in the making, we will uh, really see Royal lifting that shield on uh, Saturday. St. Thomas's take on science. They will be expecting to win that one, of course, St. Thomas's, but they are a team that uh, tends to beat themselves sometimes by making some bad decisions. So if there's any game that's, uh, that Science College will be looking to try and win, it's the one against their Mount Lavinia rivals. So that should be an interesting close game as well, closer than I think Thomian fans would want it to be. That's it for this week's edition of The Breakdown. Thanks a lot for joining us. Don't forget to tune in to the Papare.com and Dialogue TV as we bring you all four games live and exclusive uh, this week and some mouth-watering clashes on offer. So don't forget to tune in for the Singer Schools League 2019. Let's get together and cheer our Lions to victory. Let's rally behind our team at the Cricket World Cup. We want a six! With Coca-Cola, the drink of togetherness.